So my heaviest weight was actually about almost 40 pounds more than I currently weigh. Um, right now I'm between like 165 and 169, you know, depending on the day, depending what a bitch eats. <laughs> oh, bitch, yeah! What's going on you guys? What's good? Welcome back. Hope you're having a great week. Today we're bringing back a tea time. We're going real deep today. You guys asked a lot of real intimate questions and I thought this was a perfect time to do this video because my channel did have so much growth last month which is a whole nother thing I don't want to do one of my real long rambly intros but I am so incredibly grateful and happy and I've just been yeah just feeling like so grateful and all the feels lately and I know so many of you are new and you don't really know that much um, about my intimate life or my son or kind of my single mom journey my entrepreneurial journey um, if you've already been a subscriber you know I love chatting and going on for a while so I'm sure this will be a long video I usually do tea times maybe like once or twice a month I'll try not to be too repetitive if you're already a subscriber and you know a lot about me um, but I would love to kind of go deep into the questions and give you guys a more inside look at my personal life if you're interested in that these are like the top videos that I love watching from my favorite YouTubers. Um, I do have my favorite channels that I go to where I know I'm going to laugh or I'm going to get like educational value on a certain topic, but I really do love investing myself in like people that I watch. I love getting to know their family deeper and like their personality and everything. I don't know. I think it's really fun. I'm all about like chatty get ready with me's and all that. So I would love to give you guys a more intimate look at my life. So thank you so much for being here. I did just want to say thank you for 400 K like, it's insane. I have a giveaway that I'm so excited about for August. Um, you guys got me to 400k quicker than I was trending to, so I'm, everything is not prepared for the giveaway. I'm thinking the second week of August. I'll launch it, and if you are a teenager or a college student um, who is going to go back to school, you're going to love the giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Um, but I did just pull up a bunch of questions. I usually ask on Snapchat, but today I asked on my Instagram because I use that new like poll feature, or I'm sorry, the question feature that Instagram has. And this is the most questions I have ever got. So let's hop right in. If you do happen to be watching this video and you're not already subscribed, like, I'll wait. I'll just wait. You good? We good? Okay, let's move on. What's my number one tip for a girl boss in her first year of her online business? Congratulations, first off, for starting your own business. That's a huge, scary leap and jump that a lot of people never actually take. I know so many people have amazing ideas, but the fear kind of paralyzes them. So if you've already stepped out of your comfort zone and are starting your own business, honestly, congratulations, that's amazing. My first best tip would be to create your own mailing list. This is something I did really far into my YouTube and my like social media career, which I, if I would have done sooner, I would have had so many more people on that, which I could capitalize for. Um, and be more engaged with my audience and it would drive more sales. Having a MailChimp or any type of mailing list is incredible to let people know about promotions you have and also just be able to drive sales if you're running an ebook or if you're, excuse me, selling an ebook or social media courses or fitness coaching, what, whatever you have. Um, so if you have an Instagram right now or you have a YouTube, I would get on Linktree, make all of your links and definitely include your mailing list in there. What are my thoughts on plastic surgery? Um, if you've been on my channel a while, you know that uh, a bitch has wanted boobs for the longest time. I am so pro plastic surgery, but I'm also like not like anti, like whatever you want to do. If you don't want to change your body, amazing. You're absolutely gorgeous the way you are, and I mean that. But if you want to change something, I think that's also great, and I think that's okay. We learn and we grow and we evolve as we grow up, and I think as long as you're doing it for you, so you can feel more confident and beautiful and sexy, and that's okay to admit that you want to feel like that. It's your body. I know for me personally, um, I don't really desire the super high, like, uh, like fake boob look. I desire like the more natural look, but I personally just have always wanted to get an augmentation so I could get a lift um, just because my chest kind of sagged down after I had my son which I'm not like embarrassed to talk about you know a lot of moms go through that if that's something you've experienced I'm right there with you um, but yeah that is the only like plastic surgery I have wanted if other people want to do it I think that's amazing um, I've always wanted a nose job as well but that one I'm actually too scared to get I don't think I ever will because I heard they have to break your nose first in order to correct it and I know it's super super painful so I'm actually gonna go just like pass on that you know and stick with contouring it's so funny though whenever I post like weight loss transformations on my Instagram or my snapchat the number one comment I get is people thinking I've already had a nose job uh, no I wish I'm I'm too much of a baby. Do I see myself and Chris moving in and buying a house together in the near future? I got about 30 or 40 of that same question. Um, and I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel like I get 
like so cheesy when I talk about him. I am extremely happy right now and there's no rush, um, but it's actually so weird like the timing of everything because my current lease is up right before January. I believe his is up like November, December and we've both been saving to purchase a home and we want the exact same kind of home, kind of in the exact same location. So I don't know, I can't like promise you guys anything. You know that I've been saving to make this purchase on my own, but if it's someone I'm gonna marry and be with for the rest of my life, then I don't know, it'd be like kind of perfect, but we don't have anything like completely set in stone. So yeah, if you guys are interested in like the model home tours and taking you on my entire home buying journey as someone who works for themselves and who's gonna get approved in like a different type of way, make sure you are subscribed here to my channel because I do keep you guys updated on everything. Um, if something happens to where we like make that decision within the next few months, obviously I'll share it with you guys. Hey girl, will you spill the tea on your engagement? You know we all saw that rock on Snapchat. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is just funny to me. I think some of you, I think some of you watched this little snap I put up the other day without the sound on because if you had the sound on, you could clearly see what was happening. I was in Nordstrom Rack actually with my son. I went in to get a wallet because as you guys know from my like robber update and stuff a while back, I lost my wallet um, and I had to replace some cards and whatever. I needed a new wallet. The rack always has really good deals. So I was out with my son the other day and we went into the jewelry section out of nowhere. It was so, so, so cute. Christian goes over to the ring section, picks a ring like he doesn't know my size or anything. He's just so cute. He just like picks one off the thing. Uh, it's a silver ring, like double banded, like fake diamond on there, obviously. Comes over to me in the store, goes, mommy, will you marry me and be my mom forever? It was the cutest thing ever, out of nowhere. Like I didn't like obviously prompt him to do that or anything. I wasn't even looking at rings. I was kind of in the section right there um, next to the jewelry, like looking at the wallets. It was the cutest thing. So I was on Snapchat. I went on Snapchat a few seconds later and like said what happened and took a little picture of it. And you can hear in the sound, in the sound of my snap, me saying what happened and just that it was a really cute little moment. Cause Christian sees, like you guys know, I've watched on YouTube like engagement videos and stuff like that. And he's, he's seen people like in those videos when he watches with me, give someone a ring. So he knows what it means to say like, will you marry me? But just that he said, will you, what do you say? Will you be my mommy forever or something? Like melted my heart. I was like tearing up in the store. It was so cute. But I don't know if some of you watched that snap with like sound off and you thought I was posting a picture of that ring thinking, you know, my current man already asked me to marry him. No, you guys, that's also another huge question I got um, on Instagram when I asked for questions for this video. I got like maybe a hundred plus of when are you gonna get engaged? When are you gonna have more kids? Are you and Chris gonna get married? Ever since I told you guys how happy I am and just that we are together, you guys are like wanting me to hurry up the process. Honestly, there's no rush. That's another question I get is, do I want more kids? If you've been a subscriber for a while, you know my birth with Christian was so traumatic and we lived in the NICU for so long and he really should not have made it. So it's just such a miracle child and it has always scared me so much to have another kid because I don't want anything internally to go wrong um, and that pregnancy again to end early. So it's always really, it's always really scared me. Hi, love. I'm filming a video right now and I was just talking about you. Really? Yeah. Damn, girl. That's my girl right now. <laughs> you're, being, you're being so corny right now. Am I, am I um, being recorded right now? You look cute right now, baby. Oh, hey. Hey. You're so beautiful. Get back to uh, your Q&A. I love you. Okay. Okay. I love you. Bye. Bye. Okay. As I was saying, um, no rush for kids or, you know, and it's so weird with Christian too, because like I said, I never wanted more kids. Um, I never like had that desire. And you know, with Christian, it's been a really tough journey for me. I know you guys see me doing well right now, which I am so blessed and truly, truly feel so grateful for, but I also feel like I've worked super hard in my business, um, you know, and been so consistent on my engagement with you guys and everything to get to this point. So I truly do feel that it's deserved, but at the same time, my first, like my son's almost six and I raised him completely on my own, not a penny from anyone else. And a lot of you asked um, if Chris was going to adopt my son and if my son would want to call him dad, he doesn't call him dad right now. Um, you know, because he knows he's not, but Chris has totally stepped in to be an amazing male father figure, which I'm so grateful for because no one has to do that. And he so wants to do it. And this is such a huge reason why I'm in love with him because like he'll come down. So he lives about two hours away, which is hard. Like you guys just saw, we were on FaceTime. Like we can only see each other once a week on the weekends. So he'll come down 
and he's not like, oh, get a sitter for Christian. Let's go out. I miss you. No, he's his whole mindset is like including Christian in everything, wanting Christian to be happy, taking Christian to the pool, like scheduling events and movies and like going to dinner all with Christian in mind. He's never like, oh, can you get a sitter for Christian? Like he wants he is so in love with Christian. Like when he comes over and just comes up the stairs, Christian runs downstairs, runs in his arms. It is the cutest and most like fulfilling, heartwarming thing to just have someone who doesn't have to be that father figure, but truly, truly wants to. And I can honestly say a huge reason why I'm in love with Chris is because he accepts, not only accepts, but just loves Christian so much and loves me so much, like, and just wants the best for both of us. So yeah. So I also got a ton of weight loss and like healthy living uh, type of questions. So we'll go into a few of those. Someone said, how much weight have you lost since the beginning of your journey? And how do you accurately track your progress? Love you, mama. Love you too. I appreciate you following and sending in a question. So my heaviest weight was actually about almost 40 pounds more than I currently weigh. Um, right now I'm between like 165 and 169, you know, depending on the day, depending what a bitch eats. At the end of high school and into the first year of college was a very hard mental and physical time for me. I can honestly say I was at my highest weight because my binge eating was so bad. Mentally, I had no self-control, no self-confidence, no self-love. So I just went in this downward spiral of trying to mask all of those feelings and really feel numb by eating way too much. I went through multiple fast food places a day. Um, it was just so, so bad mentally. I thought I was so ugly and I didn't deserve love and I would always say out loud that I was fat. We know that what we say out loud comes right back into our reality. So I wasn't helping myself to get out of the situation because everything I said was just reinforcing that I wanted to stay that way. So that is a huge, ooh, I just gave me chills. Law of attraction right there. That is a huge tip I have for you guys if you're struggling with your health or your weight loss. Um, first of all, follow some people who are extremely educated, who know what they're talking about. It can help you if you truly have like these deep rooted issues. You guys know I've been working with my coach Leah Kin for so long. I'm going to link her Instagram down below. She has amazing tips and like mind and soul and positivity stuff on her Instagram story every day. So check that out. But yeah, speaking what you want into reality, looking in the mirror and telling yourself, I am beautiful. I am so worthy of love. I love myself so much right now at my current size and I'm working my ass off to get where I want to be. Do not ever say, I I am fat, I am overweight, I am ugly, you know, I hate this, this, and this about myself. Whatever you say reinforces that you want that thing to stay that way. So stop all that negative self-talk. That is a huge, such a huge thing, and that has really just changed my life as well, to be honest. Um, I think she also asked how I, yeah, how I track my progress. A few different ways. Obviously how I feel, if like clothes are like fitting differently or looser, I can tell that I'm leaning down. Um, but I do still use my body analyzer scale. If you've been a subscriber for a while, I've used this thing, what, like three and a half years. It is one of the only like health and weight loss products that I truly believe in that I think is amazing for the cost. It is an incredible, it's the most accurate scale you're ever going to purchase ever that you can use at home that will give you like the most accurate results unless you were to go get like a DEXA scan or like a bod pod. So it tells you your weight, um, it tells you your muscle mass, your water retention. It is extremely accurate. You can actually program it for different people in your home or like if you have someone living with you or something, you can program like your height and your weight for multiple people. It also tells you your bone density, which is awesome because sometimes on a weight loss journey, you will actually be leaning out and seeing yourself like thin out. Uh, but if the overall, your overall weight isn't going down, your muscle mass may be increasing and your body fat percentage may be going down or probably is going down, which is incredible. And that's still progress. Um, so this scale actually tells you that it's the only one I've ever owned that has been that accurate at home. Um, I know so many of you have bought it off my recommendation and you can vouch for me that it's incredible. Um, they did hook me up on a discount for you guys. <laughs> I wanna say two years ago when I was in my first, one of my first apartments, which is so crazy, and they've always honored that, so I will leave it down below. It is about 70% off, so check in the description box, get one if you guys are on your weight loss journey. It is incredible, it's honestly the only one I can fully stand behind that I can say I weigh myself on it every single day to track my progress. What are some of my favorite meals for weight loss? My staples, my go-tos, and do I still use a meal replacement shake? Um, so you guys know I do use First Form products. I do use their level one protein as a meal replacement with like a frozen banana, some almond milk, maybe some cinnamon, a ton of ice mixed in there. It's incredible, they have tons of flavors. Um, their protein is super high quality, so not only can you use it for shakes, you can use it for baking. So I do like protein French toast and muffins and everything like that. Depending how long you use it, it does last you a few months, so the um, cost for it is really good. Other than that, I am so basic on my weight loss meals. I will usually, I'm still really not trying to eat meat at all. You know a bitch loves dairy. I need to cut that shit out, honestly, because I think that cheese and milk and stuff 
Um, I don't drink regular milk, it's mostly almond milk, but any type of dairy really tends to bloat me. I really just need to let that go. I'll admit that's a little hard, um, but I'm really basic. I'll do like tofu or I'll do like stir fry. Um, but lately, I truly have been trying to up my recipe game and like try new stuff, especially with dating Chris when he comes over. You know, she wanna be a little fancy and cook a little bit. Um, I have been trying out a bunch of recipes from Leah's recipe book, which I mentioned in another video. Um, I believe it has over 100 or 120 macro-friendly recipes, which are incredible, like pancakes, French toast, uh, breakfast sandwiches, like your own version of a McDonald's egg McMuffin at home, but they're all macro friendly ingredients. It is incredible. It's an ebook you can just download and it, um, she lists the macros in there for every single meal and what ingredients you need. There's like a grocery shopping list. It's amazing. Um, I'm going to link her recipe book down below if you guys want to grab it. Again, she's just an amazing person, a hard worker who truly does deserve your support and the uh, recipes in there are honestly incredible. I've been making Christian some of the French toast and just like trying to step out of my comfort zone because I am so bland. I get in such a routine with my meals. So having that to just like, I'm like, I don't know what I wanna to cook today. Opening it and trying something new has been really fun for me. So I'm also just getting like tons and tons of questions about Christian in general, and you guys wanting to know um, updates on his development and everything with him. And I'm just appreciative, honestly, that you guys like genuinely, you know, not just care about me and are subscribed to me, but that a majority of the questions are about just the well-being of Christian is so incredibly appreciated. So please know that. And I'd love to give you guys a little update. So he has been behind on speech since he was born, as you guys know, since he was such a micro preemie. Um, and he did work with Regional Center up until he was three. We had someone come to the house and do speech therapy every week, which was awesome. Then he went through preschool. Now he's in summer. Um, and we actually do have a tutor now for him here at my house twice a week um, for speech, literature, reading, and writing they trace the letters they do flashcards they do like shapes and like matching and stuff um, the lady who comes to our house is incredible she was actually a kindergarten teacher for over 12 years so she comes twice a week now for about an hour and a half each time which is slowly um, slowly but consistently like really helping Christian speech and I'm just hoping that when he starts kindergarten he is not behind at all he is going to a regular kindergarten class he's not going to be held back or anything and he will still have speech therapy a few times a week I believe they'll pull him out of class um, to still have that, which I'm really grateful for because I truly still feel like he needs it. Um, but you can see him in the vlogs. He's talking just fine. He's a normal kid. Oh, that's another thing. I have had messages and people who've reached out over over the years or like over time on YouTube. And I don't think they're doing it in a condescending or like a rude way, but asking me if Christian has ever been evaluated for autism because um, sometimes he would like repeat words a lot, um, which I believe is called echolalia. And... Um, also just because his speech delay has been behind and we did actually go ahead and ask his pediatrician last year And she told me at that time she would not diagnose him with autism at all And there were clear indicators and marks of autism that he doesn't have um, I actually knew some people in high school who had autism I believe it was a little bit more of a severe case and Christian had has nothing like that um, I've never thought he had it But seeing some of my subscribers I guess have children who do have autism and you know the signs and you've told me like to, what to look out for I got kind of scared as a mom and I did want to just ask his pediatrician she also told me that they wouldn't even diagnose him until he was later or until he was um older but she diagnosed everything about him physically mentally heard him talk and she said he definitely doesn't have that um but he does have hyper hyperactive ism no that sounds wrong <laughs> He's a very hyperactive kid. It's hard for him to come in and really focus sometimes. So we've got to set the timer when we're doing flashcards or when we're really trying to focus. Um, he's definitely learning a lot more discipline now. The past year, I would say I've been disciplining him a lot more because at the beginning, he was just my only child and I'm so obsessed with him and so in love with him. I wanted to give him everything he wanted and his dad was never there. So I wanted to be like the loving mom. And so he never really learned any discipline, which I found out the hard way was a bad thing in my parenting that I should have been strict since the beginning. I was definitely like more of a friend than a mom and now I'm really trying to implement the discipline and it's been a change for him to realize that I have to act that way and be strict sometimes and he's got to really learn certain things but I think to be the best parent because I love him so much and I want him to just be well behaved you know I have to implement that discipline so that's definitely been a parental change for me that we've been going through um, but he's doing really good right now he's in swim lessons for summer he loves it he is obsessed with swimming and diving and just the water in general and then we do have his tutor twice a week um, he also does get other socialization here during summer uh, with other kids we'll have him over to the pool and he'll go on play dates and we'll go to like the rock climbing jungle and stuff like that so he is doing amazing thank you guys again for your genuine concern for him it's so appreciated and I will keep you updated when he starts kindergarten it's gonna be such a monumental day like 
Ugh, just seeing him in his little outfit like starting kinder. I don't know. I feel like that's a huge milestone and it's actually coming up so quick What is it today? The 25th? Yeah, I think he starts school on like August 12th This cracks me up. Someone said is it hard to get alone time wink wink with your man since you have your son? Honestly, no, it's not like weird or hard or anything at all um, Like I said, he he's obsessed with my son. We love hanging out with Christian We're never like oh get Christian away so we can have our alone time like we love hanging out with him And I'm a huge advocate for nothing sexual or anything can go down around my son even like if my son's in the other room I'm always like paranoid you know so I'm very like I'm always like get off me like I don't know I'm super like I want to be very respectful as a mom you know but we do have our one uh, date night where my mom will watch Christian on the weekends so that's really sweet of her um, but yeah Christian is so sweet he'll just come up and like crawl in bed with us and like wants to hug us and it's just it's honestly just like the cutest thing like seeing them two sleep together or Christian will just uh, come in my room and he'll wake up and it'll be Chris sleeping and me on one side and Christian on one side it, I don't like ugh, No words. It, it just like melts my heart Another cool question is who would I recommend you guys to follow if you're about that girl boss like young entrepreneur lifestyle Oh my gosh, there's so many I am so blessed to say that I know so many incredible women now through social media um, But I will just name off some of my current favorites absolute favorites Emily Hayden Angie Lee and Marie Wold um, I'm blessed to be able to call all of them friends you guys should follow them I will link them down below they are about nothing but positivity and love and they will enhance your life for the better so be sure to follow them I also wanted to mention I am going to be at my friend Angie's event so many of you already may, might follow her Angie Lee you probably know her from the rich bitch podcast I believe she changed the podcast name now to the Angie Lee show she's incredible she actually had me on her podcast um, we're friends we she, I actually hired her to be one of my business mentors at the beginning of the year and then we developed a friendship and she is such a genuine heart and just such a kind person and a kick-ass entrepreneur she went from being a hundred thousand dollars in debt to now making having her business uh, make multiple millions which is crazy and I think she's only 27 or 28 years old um, but she's actually having an event in October called pays to be brave I will be there there will be so many other amazing speakers who are like kick-ass entrepreneurs in the social media field who will just enhance your guys's life so much for the better it's gonna be the ultimate women's empowerment like girl boss event I would love any of you guys to go who can go it's in October in San Diego I will leave the website down below so you can see who's speaking at it again you know I'll be there so come say hi um, any type of discount I can get you guys for tickets I'll put down below but if you're in LA or San Diego or California at all and you can travel down there I believe it's a three-day event I would love to see you um, and everyone who I would recommend you guys to follow who who I love will also be there so be sure to check that out you guys literally went ham on the questions this time there's just so many I can't get to and I have a really good gut feeling that this video is already like 40 minutes long so I'm gonna cut it off thank you for all the questions if you were new I sincerely hope that you got to know a little bit more about me intimately and you can you know stay here and rock with me on my channel For some reason if you were watching this video not being subscribed press the subscribe button hit the notification bell just to be sure that you guys do see my uploads I really appreciate it if you want to see myself and my son and my boyfriend on a daily basis you know just like doing shenanigans like daily stuff be sure to also follow your girl on the gram I love you guys I sincerely appreciate you like I can't even believe we're at 400k my mind is blown and I'm feeling like I said just all the feels and so grateful this week so I sincerely want you to know that um, you can also leave any video requests down below and I will see you guys in the next one